My name is Damon Sly, and I've been making games my whole life. I founded Dynamics in 1983. In 2007, I founded Mad Otter Games with some friends. It's a game studio in Eugene, in the midst of the Willamette Valley, and we're here to talk to you about Villagers and Heroes. What I really like about Villagers and Heroes is augmenting. That's short for Gnomish Augmentation, and it's basically a feature that allows players to combine different pieces of gear together, mixing and matching and picking their favorite spells and feats and talents, and also the appearance. And it's user-created content, and it's a lot of gameplay so that people get to experiment and try their own combinations. Um, the other thing I really like is that it brings together the breadth of Villagers and Heroes because when we built Villagers and Heroes, we wanted to make a game where every type of player had a place in the world and nobody was an orphan and an irrelevant uh, crafter, for example. It's about doing different kinds of activities. So you have people who like to craft and garden and ranch and also heroes that want to go out and do big boss raids. So augmenting brings all of these things together where you can take gear that you acquired from defeating a big boss and you can take gear that you've crafted, and you can also take gear that you created in your village and put them all together to get your own unique combination. Hello, I am, my name is Cameron. Um, a lot of our players know me as Diet. I am the lead content designer for Villagers and Heroes. I've been working on the game for about two years now. I was the main content designer for the Traven patch and the Pyrus patch. My favorite thing about Villagers and Heroes, I definitely, like the community. I mean, I know um, that's a little bit cliche for game designer to say, but you guys are just amazing. Sometimes I can just go in the game in secret and I just kind of like watch around in Art City and I just see how nice people are to new people and it, it's pretty amazing. As far as like inside the game, I definitely like the breadth of the game. It's fun as a designer and as a player because I do play the game myself. It's just fun to like really explore those and like build the best build for each character. My name is uh, Chris Fulkerson and I'm the art director at Mad Otter Games. I've uh, been working on Village and Heroes for about a year and a half. I really enjoy uh, going through the environments and uh, seeing all the unique things, models of you know, rocks and buildings, all these things that don't look exactly like they would in real life. They have a, a nice twist on that. And I uh, also like looking at the enemies. Uh, some of my favorites are uh, the bog frog and the wolf. And I look forward to uh, designing some enemies in the future, continuing to make the game better. Hi, uh, my name's Liam Ryan. I'm the uh, one of the lead programmers here at Mad Otter Games. For me, with Villagers and Heroes, the part that particularly interests me is the villages forming a, a community with other players, and you sort of are taking part in this political thing where you have your different positions and fighter-type characters are working together with the crafting-type characters, build up this shared avatar, as it were. Hey, I'm Adam. I'm one of the artists here at Mad Otter Games. I, uh, I've been here about a year and I work a lot on environment art and a lot of the character outfits and equipment that you've seen in the last few months. I'd say that my favorite part of Villagers and Heroes has to be the quirky environments. I love uh, the bog frog in particular. Hello, I'm Sarah. Um, I'm the writer for the latest content. I joined it in about October of this year and it has just been a blast. I love this game. I love this company. Um, I think I'm supposed to say what my favorite things about the game are. I wouldn't know where to begin, but definitely the players. I got hooked on the game as a player. I started playing just to check things out and within, I would say, two days I was completely addicted and I am not exaggerating. So much of that has to do with the player community. It's just such a wonderful group of people and I cannot stress that enough. Again, so many things about the game, but right now I would say I love the possibilities. It's just so much fun working on new zones and places and people and crazy stories and again, it's just so much fun.